Today in this video we will show the most recent product updates to the Zakeka Visual Commerce platforms. Lots of new features and improvements for you and your business. Let's go! Let's start with display options available for the advanced pricing. Let's go inside price rules and select advanced pricing. Let's edit one. In the pricing configuration you can now add the name and the display options with a label and a new price structures when you can show the final price plus the customization charge or even show the price and the customization charge at separate values or just the customization charge. Then you can select to add a price description and associate the rule with products or print method. In this case, we select a t-shirt product. Then you can structure your rule, for example, the amount of elements as a property targeted to the full product, etc. At the end, we will have something like this for your customers. Let's add a clip art or an image in this case. As you can see, there's a difference. I've selected to show the charge that the customer paid for the product plus the customization charge and separate values with this description. Now let's move to the new power of translations. In settings, you can manage the translations of the Zakeka UI and the back office, and you can also manage from now on custom elements, text elements added by you just as product variants, image categories, tool names, images, clip art, etc. etc. Here we can add a language from the 80s and more available, for example, let's select Spanish. We can add the language. And then see the translation automatically or change it for the preset text inside the Zekeke UI. As you can see, there are a lot of options. Or we can just select to add the text and the translation in this language as a custom added text. You can also manage more language. For example, if you have a multi-language website, you can decide to translate again as many languages that you want. As you can see, automatically the presets are already here by default. And then you can, again, show the original text and the translation in many languages as you want. Now let's go inside a new section inside orders. There are the manual orders. When you click on create manual orders, you can select a product for which you want to create a manual order, for example, or select some variants for them. You can add the products or edit the quantity or the variants that we chose. We can select the owner number and the customer email. Your customer will receive an email to the Zakeke customizer. Once your customers complete the order, you can validate it and get print ready files directly inside without the need to be directly connected to an e-commerce back office. As you can see, there is a new tab with offline orders. And in this case, we can check the status as new. We can select and click on the details. We can set the order as on old or even show it in the designer. As we can see, we have the number and of course we have actions so we can send multiple emails to our customers or even update the customer's email address. Now let's go to another update on the bulk variation form. Inside settings, select bulk variation form. You can now select the product and decide the design of the bulk variation form. In addition to the default grading, you have added the opportunity to use a drop-down menu the best option if you have a large number of attributes, ensuring an improved experience for your customers. You can even select all the variants that you want to show inside the bulk variation form. As we save the options, for example, we can actually see how it is applied. This is the drop down menu.
Now let's move on to another improvement in settings, in this case into Interface Editor. With the KK, you can show the design total size or the size of each map of the design to your customers while they make it. From now on, in the actions, you can enable customers to manually enter size for images. Like in this case, if I select this image, I can use the resize tool or even select the width and a of the image manually in order to be more precise to the millimeter.